guys and welcome back to my channel yes a new tutorial finally so I'm really really excited to share this video with you guys it's something I've never done before so I really hope you guys enjoy the video please don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you want to see next and also subscribe if you are interested and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video alrighty guys so since we are working with glitter yet again today I don't know what it is with this kick I've been on with glitter but I just love it and can't get enough of it so we're gonna be starting with our eyes first since we are working with glitter and first of all we're definitely going to want to prime so our shadows and our glitter that we've been putting down is not gonna go anywhere so I'm just gonna pick up the BH Cosmetics primer you guys know I use this all the time Anyways, we're just gonna put this pretty much all over the lid put that eye primer down you're always gonna want to set you guys know the drill with that so I'm gonna grab I just sounded like Manny MUA <laughs> um, but I'm gonna grab the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette oh, this is amazing if you guys can get your hands on it I definitely recommend it um, but I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called thanks a latte and that's gonna be our shade that we use to set that primer so it doesn't go anywhere And now that we have our scotch tape applied, this is just going to help give that little outer V shape that we like. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to a transition color. I'm going to grab Bestie from the palette and also Are You Kitten Me? And I'm going to kind of mix them together and it's just going to create this perfect little concoction for our transition shade. We can always go back in and blend more eyeshadow into our look. So don't be scared if you think this might be a little too light. We can always add more. And now that we have our transition shade down, I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Brownie Points, just to add a little bit of depth to the outer V and slightly into the crease as well. With this, we're gonna go with a very light hand just because it is a darker color. And like I said, if you put too much down, it can be a little bit tough to fix. So I'm really focusing it here on this area of the eye, buffing it in, and then I'll slowly work it into the crease. And then once I feel like that's kind of buffed in well enough, I always go back in with my transition color, buff some more of that color in, and then go in with the brownie points color yet again. Eyeshadow blending is just a lot of balancing and reblending. I'm gonna mix two shades. So first I'm gonna start with this shade right here called Teddy Bear. It's just a really pretty brown color, but I'm also gonna mix it with this color right here, which is called Wine and Dine. And it's just a really, really pretty kind of red wine color, honestly. <laughs> but that's just gonna add a little bit of color so our eyes don't just look brown and boring. <laughs> so I'm gonna really focus this one on the outer V and slightly, slightly into the crease, but not much. And then we're really going to focus too on bringing it in almost to the center of the eye, but not quite. So once I've got that teddy bear shade down, that brown shade, we're going to go back in with that wine and dine color. Just the same brush, it doesn't necessarily matter. And just apply that over top. Just to again, it's just going to give us a little bit of color and not make it look so like one dimensional. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the shades that I've already used, blend them in a little bit. And then to add this cream shade kind of to the lid, um, I'm just gonna pick up the same cream shade called Thinks A Latte. That's what we use to set our eye primer. Um, honestly, the best way to probably do this is gonna be to set down a bit of concealer and kind of block out any color that got onto your eyelid. Um, I'm kind of doing it the lazy way today. So either way works, honestly. But you're just gonna take that cream shade and just put it on basically the portion of the eyelid that we didn't put any other shadows on. And this is just gonna brighten up your eyes a bit and make them look a little bit more awake. And then after we do this step, you always wanna go back in with your other colors and just blend them in yet again. So I'm going back in with that brownie points shade into the crease. 
And then I'll go back in with our transition shade and really make sure everything is blended so we don't have any harsh lines because we don't want them. And now for the super fun part, which is the glitter. Honestly, I know it may seem a little bit scary and like, oh, how am I gonna do that? But this is honestly the first time I've ever tried to look like this and it was not difficult at all. So don't be worried if you haven't tried it before. It really was not difficult. Um, so first up, I'm just gonna take some of the NYX glitter primer. Close your eye just slightly and follow kind of just slightly above your natural crease of your eye. So taking from right about here and working your way up. And now that our glitter eye primer is all set, you're just gonna dip into whatever glitter you have. Today I'm gonna use the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Bronze. And again, I'm just gonna take, this is actually an eyeliner brush, but I'll use it for this and just dip the brush into the glitter and we're gonna apply. Alrighty, and so I would say I do really like how the glitter is looking so far. I think next time I do this, because I will try it again, um, I'd make my lines of my glitter a little bit smaller. I've made them a little chunky this time, but hey, we're just gonna go with what we have. <laughs> um, and just because I am a little extra and I want a little bit more sparkle on it, I'm gonna grab the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy, and I'm just gonna run that ever so slightly along the glitter I've already put down, just to give it an extra little pop. And next would be our eyeliner. I'm just gonna grab the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, and you could absolutely do a wing too if you'd like, I just, I don't have the patience for that today. <laughs> And then I'm quickly going to do my lower lash line and then some falsies. I'm probably just gonna speed through this part, honestly, because you guys have seen me do it about a thousand times. Um, so just hang out. We'll be right back for face. <laughs> Okay, so 10 years later, our brows are done and our eyes are pretty much finished and we'll move on to the face. <laughs> so today, I think I'm going to go ahead and prime. Hmm. I think I'm gonna prime with this guy right here. So this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Basically, what it says is honey is a natural antiseptic, gold flakes increase skin radiance, and then it's got collagen in it for smoother skin. Um, I've only tried this once, and the first time I tried it, I actually really, really liked it. I have a little bit of the product off the spatula and just apply it to my beauty sponge. The beauty sponge, we're just gonna go ahead and put this all over the face. And I did already moisturize earlier today, so in case you guys are like, girl, I got you already. <laughs> 
bar. I mean, like I said, I've only tried this once and I really liked it the first time. And I have to say, I really like it this time too. It smells really good. Like I can't, it doesn't smell like honey. So if you're like, well, really what does it smell like, Marky? It does not smell like honey, but it feels amazing on my skin. It feels like really hydrating and really like it has like a cool feel to it feels really good. So today I'm gonna grab the Tarte Shape Tape and my color is light and we're just gonna apply that to the normal places. I always apply concealer, you guys know the drill by now. But we're just gonna bake those under eyes with our Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's called Shade. And it's the only cream contour shade that this palette has, but it's amazing. Um, and I'm just gonna grab right here, this is a BH Cosmetics 141 brush. And just apply a little bit of this product to the cheekbones. Not much, cause I'm not going for anything like super crazy chiseled, honestly. And then to bronze today, I'm just gonna be picking up my fluffy brush. And again, going back to the Tarte palette, this shade right here, it's called Sculpt. And we're just gonna pick up a little bit of this just to add some warmth to the face. Still from the Tarte Pro Glow palette, I'm gonna grab these two shades right here and mix them. And those are Strobe and Stunner. You guys know the drill, I have to spritz my brush with some setting spray, just so it's extra crazy, cause you know, I love a good highlight. <laughs> And then just to settle the highlight down a little bit, I'm gonna use a blush. This is from Studio Makeup in the shade Wildflower. And I'm just gonna use a little angled brush like this. And of course we're gonna set everything, so I'm gonna pick up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, and that's gonna go all over the face. And we're just gonna fan that in so it dries a little bit faster. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London, and so I'm first gonna apply that, and then I'm just gonna apply a clear gloss over it just because I'm not really feeling a matte look to a matte lip look today. And then last but not least, just because I'm a little bit extra, we're gonna add some faux freckles. I know, I know, that trend was a while ago, but I'm just, I can't let it go. It's too cute, okay? <laughs> so I just take a little eye pencil. Um, this is a eyeliner from Ulta. It's their Ulta brand, and this is what I use when I always do my faux freckles. But I usually just take it and do little dots all over my face. And I kind of change up the pressure that I use just so each one looks a little bit different. I 
I'll just take the beauty sponge I've been using and just lightly apply pressure to the places I put the freckles. This will just kind of blend them in a little bit and make them appear a little bit more natural. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, not only a giveaway, but I'm also going to be doing the Boyfriend Does My Makeup Challenge, which because, you know, my boyfriend bet me that if I got to 300 subscribers, he would do that video with me. So I'm super excited for that. So, you know, tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your next door neighbor to subscribe to my channel if you're interested. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking and just say bye guys. Once I've got that teddy pair like that. <laughs>